Hello everyone, this is Zebo and welcome to this AFK journey video. So, like I mentioned yesterday, I won't be releasing Crocus Guide today because I just don't have the time to sit down properly to do the recording and editing before I head out, right? So, I will save it for next week where I have the time to do everything nicely so you guys can stay tuned for that. For this video, it's just a quick one where I do the reminders for all the daily and weekly stuff you need to do to maximize the freebies you can get from the game itself. So without further ado, let's go into the things that you guys need to do on a daily or weekly basis. So obviously, number one, you go into your quest page. Remember to claim your daily quest, claim everything over here. And then once you're done, you go into the guild quest. So this is a weekly thing. So this thing resets weekly. Super important for your um celestial slash shibujin units join an active guild right do all the necessary guild quests as you guys can see over here they're all really really easy if you have been logging in right you will claim a bunch of coins you've been playing the game you'll clear the better quest and then if you have been doing dream realm you will clear the dream realm rankings and hitting the max coins are really easy as well so that's for the daily and weekly stuff from the quest portion so there's also a growth path this is a one-time thing but i'm just gonna tell you guys that this thing exists in case you do not know so if you can try to clear the upgrading of your teams from this growth paths uh, trajectory so it's easier for you to get all the rewards and then from there you can use it to power up your teams so that's for the quest side the other weekly or daily thing that you guys should always check back is always the noble table so noble table daily stuff these are all stuff which i think you guys uh, do on a daily basis so usually what will happen is there will be a treasure light up at the noble path right so if you click on it basically it means that either you have something that you haven't claimed right so you can claim or then you'll disappear or you have a quest that you have done but you have not claimed the rewards so on a daily basis you want to finish everything and then claim it and then there's also the weekly portion so you can check okay what are the things i haven't done so i can claim the coins so that so i can exchange it within the nova tavern itself so uh this is not a permanent thing like it's more like as long as the nova tavern is here you kind of want to claim everything because Later on, I think uh, once the uh, Nova Table is cleared out, then uh, you won't need to check back every single week or every single day for the quest itself. So that's for the Nova Tavern side. Uh, the other weekly contents, obviously, right? Daily contents, Dream Round, I don't think I need to say too much. Uh, even if you don't get good rank, just hit the boss, try to get like a damage in, get a little bit of ranking and then get the free resources from there. So daily stuff, remember to do. And then obviously, uh, Honor Duo. Honor Duo has a weekly reward system. So just do it and then get 15 victory. Very, very simple. Honestly speaking, I think at the lower tiers, um, the game is quite simple. So I'll talk more about Honor Duo in the future. But um, I'll say at least when you first start, right, the people that you're playing against, they are usually lower level. So they don't match you with all the top tier competitive teams yet. So clearing 15 teams per week is quite simple right so i i've done it right so here's a 999 27 then there's three so uh uh 30 over here so 15 from last week 15 from this week so that's what i usually do i don't really care too much about the ranking cost the ranking doesn't affect anything in terms of pro account progression so yeah i just leave it here then uh the next thing which you want to do on a weekly basis is your victory rewards for arena so as much as you might be somebody like me who is not so concerned about arena because i'm on a free-to-play account on a competitive competitive server you also want to claim these uh, coins because this is 2000 arena coins every week so every month that's 8000 arena coins that you might miss out if you don't do your arena or you don't bother getting wins right there will always be i'll say like a match where you can win so nowadays most people that don't really care about arena too much in a ptr server they just lock in they do 20 victories per week and then they're done another thing that i think uh, why you should always do arena consistently is because there's actually a quest right within the the growth trials right which is arena centric over here so every win you get is equi equivalent to gaining coins in the long run so even if you don't like the game mode a lot i think trying the game mode out and then trying to win from there is something that you probably should aim for in the long run so every single day lock in you know play a little bit of arena claim the weekly rewards and in the long term claim the long-term growth trial reward so this coin is uh, pretty helpful for get uh, for getting certain units and some of these units are pretty powerful right so i actually have a guide uh, as to what to buy in the emporium shop but i'm just going to briefly talk about 
which units you actually want to go for based on your situation so if you don't have a torrent then go for danny like danny is the second best tank in fact i think to a certain extent danny could be even as good as torrent depending on situation and your team build so if you don't have torrent your or your torrent luck is terrible then go for danny over here right so this unit is pretty decent then if you have danny and you want like super powerful healer for arena or just generic powerful healer then heroin is uh, one of my most recommended choice like i use her a lot in arena i use her a lot in battle drill as well she's gonna help you overcome certain difficult stages such as like the over leveling in labyrinth as well so this unit is also quite worthy for investment as a support in the long run so other units include obviously CCL for those of you guys who have committed to her i i don't commit to her so i won't bother so but this is something that you guys can consider if you already did like spend her all the way up to mythic or mythic plus already then uh rowan's also pretty decent as a support cassidy is a good late game dps choice for battle drill as well as boss related contents and i think she will get better with time so very very future proof as well uh igor super duper annoying frontliner and uh, backliner for various game modes you can use him for arena super annoying always causes time out and then you can use him for battle drill as a tank if you are really using torrent is your in your other team so that's one thing that igor does really well uh brian's decent right brian's decent as a single target damage dealer one of the very powerful late game arena units but uh i'll say more strictly arena centric i think battle drill you can use brian as well and uh, that's that for brian so generally all the units here are good except for four which i except for three right which i don't recommend so brutus don't bother like you don't need too high of ascension for brutus to pro use him for progression then for lumon lousiest tank in the game probably the lousiest unit in the game so don't bother then atalanta uh can can do damage can do stun has a little bit of everything but she's not that good like you have better choices so don't waste your resources on her so that's for the arena store and then moving back remember to claim your friend's coin right so this one gives you the uh, friendship points which you can use to get your items over here right so this is the items where you can actually give your units to increase the affinity so affinity also indirectly translates to rewards in case you guys do not know so that's for this one and then next one is battle drill so battle drill is a is a guild content where you actually hit the boss try to get the power up and then do as much damage as possible wait that's this thing okay did hello i already click on this <laughs> okay technical difficulties there guys so uh for your for your battle drill itself uh, now i think it's a uh, bi-weekly wait is it a weekly content or is it a few days content i don't know what's the reset cycle for this boss fight for for battle drill but i think at the highest difficulty it's uh once every two weeks but uh, if it's active right just check back right if it's active if it's the battle drill is active it will be on the top if it's not active there will be a tab at the bottom where it's currently not active so what you want to do for battle drill is really simple go into battle drill right make sure your units energy are fully consumed and then you you claim all the treasure chest rewards and fulfill the criteria. get all this reputation treasure stuff and then with whatever keys you have exchanged for the chest of valor so that's for battle drill super important for free to play players by the way one of my favorite game mode in terms of resource collection because you just get a lot out of it and then one more thing which uh, you guys should always take note of or rather one new thing that you guys should take off is the arcane labyrinth so for arcane labyrinth right the the thing about arcane labyrinth is this game mode has actually undergone multiple changes like um they they have updated the game mode again and again and again so this week itself they actually have this labyrinth quest so labyrinth quest has this uh different uh requirements and rules where you guys can check if you click on the i button but uh, i think this uh labyrinth difficulty right Blah, blah 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 okay reset okay so this labyrinth quest thing i'm not too sure whether or not it resets weekly because on the first week when the game launched it didn't appear and in the ptr server it is a it's, it was supposed to be a bi-weekly thing but uh, the important part about this labyrinth quest is actually this reward so this reward the higher difficulty you go the more freebies you can claim so obviously if you can try to push to as high of a tier as possible based on your hero collection so this these rewards are very very sick you know it's at one two three 
four, five, five tickets, and then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, hundred eighty gems, right? So if you can clear higher, then obviously you're gonna get more upwards all the way up to eight summoning tickets, and uh, I'll say two hundred plus, three hundred plus worth of gems, which is um about nine or ten summons for you then you also get this title essence so this one is uh, new this week if uh, you're not some, you're not a big fan of labyrinth at least try to clear the stages i think i think doing the runs maybe one or two times you will get the rewards already so it's quite simple so that's for the arcane labyrinth then next one is legend trout so legend trout on a sunday will have all the towers open so you guys can take this opportunity to switch your units around and then try to clear as much stages as possible so that you can get the arcane dust for your progression so this one is quite important because uh, arcane dust is going to be quite scarce in fact at least at where i am right now arcane dust is super scarce so whatever additional arcane dust or um arcane essence you can get to upgrade your characters will be greatly appreciated yeah so i guess that's pretty much it right these are all the daily weekly stuff that you need to know let me just take a quick glance whether or not i missed out anything oh yes one more daily stuff that you guys need to do right uh, remember to do your long gaze so i will do a 14 day account upgrade tomorrow and then uh, i'll also share my current best build for long gaze and talk more about it but this boss gives you three attempts every single day right now my best damage is about 3.73 so i hope by tomorrow or rather i hope by the later part of today i can hit higher by having a stronger team of units so that's for the long gaze right uh and always try to clear as much afk stage as possible every single day so that you don't lose out in terms of progression right check out the quest claim all your unit or hero lock-in as well as your forward journey gift and then yeah that's pretty much it for this video right so these are all the daily and weekly stuff that you need to do just a simple daily weekly checklist for you guys to check back and see whether or not you have claimed everything on your account Thank you very much for watching. Do remember to like and subscribe to see more from the channel and I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye guys.